Welcome back. With me now is Dee Matthews, who is the chair of the board of directors for Bridges Prep. And Dee, this is a busy summer at Bridges Prep, so give us the latest update on your construction project progress. Well, we've had a little anxieties of late due to the excessive rain. As you know, we've had more than 10 inches in a lot of the areas around here. So the site has been um, pretty much underwater, which has caused a little bit of delay. The construction crew, um, over, with the oversight of our architect, has been working 12 to 14 hour days. So they really are, they know what our timeline is and they're really working very diligently to get it done. So we're still not holding, you know, we don't have any huge problems yet, but we are open to the possibility that we may have to have a delay in the start of school. Okay, and what grades will be located at the new campus when it opens in August or whenever it opens? Yes, uh, um, it'll be uh, 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. So all the high school students. Okay, and are the temporary classrooms installed yet? Actually, the admin building has arrived in six of the modulars, uh, which at this point, the last six were due to be delivered today, but they can't be delivered until some of the rain um, areas are corrected and we have a little bit of more asphalt down. Okay, and so when construction resumes on the permanent school, will that be going on at the same time as classroom instruction? And, and will, do we, are we thinking that's gonna be a distraction to the students? You know, we've talked about it. I don't think so because where it's going, it will be going on, which will enable the students to actually see the new building being put up. But in the classrooms, the teachers, they're pretty dedicated, not pretty, they, we have dedicated, we have awesome teachers. So the fact I can promise you that those high school teachers work diligently with those students, and I'm certain that those students work as diligently to get good grades. So with those two things during class time, we're not worried about the, um, any problems with educational, uh, you know, with they're getting their lessons. Now, when they are at lunch or outside during the day, I'm hoping that the excitement that they feel about it will, uh, you know, go over to the homes and they'll be talking to their parents about it. So yes, I hope that that excitement does distract a little at the right time. Right, right. Well, I'm sure it is going to be very exciting. And so we talked a little bit at the beginning, but tell us, in a perfect world, what the overall timeline for the construction project is and what you're thinking it might be now with the rain? Uh, at this point, we're still leaving it open to school starting on the 20th. And so uh, if that has to be a delay, in a worst case scenario, we would probably start the Tuesday after Labor Day. I don't foresee anything. And again, that would be, uh, we would go ahead and make the adjustment to start the entire school from K through 11 at that time because parents have students in both grade levels or in the high school as well as the uh, younger grades. So we don't want to cause any problems for the parents or anything either. And we will be m ensuring that all stakeholders are advised and, and given plenty of notice on all, any changes that need to be made. Okay, so what else would you like to share about Bridges Prep this summer? You know, the teamwork of our admin team, our administrative team consists of Chris Wilson that the viewers have met Dr. Sherry Earps, and I can't remember if she's been on one of our uh, segments yet. And then the newest addition is John Cable, who has come to us from a charter school in the upper part of the state. They are an awesome team, working very hard. Um, they've got, you know, a little, I think a couple of positions left to hire, but we have awesome teachers. It's really a pleasure to work with Bridges and to be their board chair, to be very honest with you. It's a great school. Well, I know as we've talked before about how dedicated you, the team is and the teachers are and how that really just trickles down and makes it a great place for the students to learn. Well, you know, think about the trees that we have, especially those live oaks. Those, those teachers are the roots that hold that tree and make it stand tall. So you can't, you can't give them enough accolades at times. They really are the foundation. Absolutely. Well, thanks for being with us to share with us the progress that's going on, and we'll keep our fingers crossed for no more rain. Thank you so much. Enjoy the day, too. Thank you. You, too. We have an exclusive interview with the Chief Dist of the Gullah Geechee Nation, Queen Quet, right after the break.